Hello and welcome to another episode of the Creative Classroom. Today we're here at the Pemberton Early Childhood Educational Center, where just yesterday a ribbon cutting ceremony was held for their new educational outdoor learning lab. One, One two, three! Staff and community members joined with students in celebrating the grand opening of the outdoor lab, which is designed to be a creative outdoor classroom for Pemberton's youngest learners. Here to tell us more about the outdoor facility are the staff members who played an integral role in making the outdoor lab a reality. With me is the supervisor of early childhood, Daniel Hosey, along with master's teacher, Debbie Benz, Tracy Haynes, and Ann Donovan. Welcome. Mrs. Hosey, can you tell me how the idea of the outdoor learning lab came about? Well, we're always looking for new experiences for our children. And, you know, recently there's been a lot in research about the importance of outdoor play for children. And this started as a really small idea a couple of years ago. And with the help of staff, parents, and the greater community, it has grown into what you see today. And Mrs. Benz, how do children benefit from being in nature and learning through play? Well, we know young children learn best through active learning, and research supports that. So that means they need to have materials, they need to have manipulation, they need adult support and language and thought. We also realize that children are not getting outside the way they used to years ago, especially when we were children. We were outside all the time. So the benefits are that the research is showing us that children seem more engaged, they're more curious, they're more creative, they're more focused and more relaxed. They also are experiencing sensory um, stimulations out here that they might not be getting in the classroom indoors. And we figured, well, here's a good way to tie academic skills in with being an outdoors, more physical activity. There's a quote that we love, if we can't bounce off the walls, if we take the walls away from them. And I think this is going to provide many opportunities for children to really address the needs and grow as a whole child. We're looking for experiences to benefit the whole child. Thank you. Mrs. Hosey, is there we're already outdoor playgrounds here at Peckett, but this outdoor learning lab is very different from a playground. Can you explain those differences to us? Sure. The playgrounds are mainly for gross motor and for children to develop their large muscle skills. So on the playgrounds, you're going to see climbing and running and jumping and swinging, things like that. But in the out educational outdoor learning lab, you're going to see children who are engaged in different types of activities, as Mrs. Bin said, that develop the whole child. So you're going to see children um, working with materials that maybe they don't get to work with inside. And it addresses many skills uh, related to the preschool teaching and learning standards and some of those STEM activities. Mrs. Haynes, I see a lot of cool stuff out here. Can you tell us about the learning activities here? Yes, um, everything that's out here is intentionally planned um, for open-ended play for the children. Um, we have an outdoor mud kitchen that has plenty of natural resources such as um, sticks and rocks and uh, flowers that the children can use along with the soil and the water. Um, it's very hands-on for the children. Um, it supports their pretend play um, and they're able to see the change um, that happens within the, having the soil and the water mixed together. Um, we also have um, a cascading water table that um, supports the children's sensory and discovery um, as they, they play in the water. It um, serves as a calming uh, activity for them. Every child loves to play in water. Um, and we also have um, a large area for block play. Um, the block play is much heavier than it is in the classroom, um, so they work different muscles as they use them. Um, and it's a they're able to build bigger structures, um, such as um, a vehicle or even a balance beam. We also have a ball and ramp set that supports that open-ended STEM um, learning um, where they can explore um, force and gravity and motion as they um, manipulate the materials. And we have plenty of um, sensory tables with natural materials that we um, switch out seasonally that they can um, explore. Um, there's plenty of um, bird feeders and binoculars and um, water gauges so that they can, um, you know, look for measurement and um, things outdoors that they typically wouldn't see within the classroom. Ms. Donovan, everything sure looks fun here, and we know the kids are actually learning. Can you tell us some of the skills that the kids are learning? Sure, Donya. There are so many skills out here. You're right. There's a lot of joy in outside playing. 
but there are so many skills happening um, in all kinds of domains. We look at, Mrs. Hosey mentioned the STEM skills, science, technology, engineering, and math. Just with the, the large blocks and with the ramps and balls, there's some engineering going on. We know that blocks are a huge math material. Um, there are patterns, there's counting, there's measuring with our rain gauges. So there's all kinds of STEM skills happening. Even the scientific inquiry skills, such as classifying, sorting, observing, experimenting, experimenting, predicting, all of those skills are able to be worked on while the children are out here. We also have skills such as cooperation, communication, critical thinking, um, what you might think of as 21st century skills. We're laying the foundation here in the outside classroom. You might not think that this is a place where there could be language and literacy skills, but there are. We have the arbor where there's some books for the children to read. They can learn about the concepts of print, fiction versus nonfiction books. Um, also, when you think about comprehension of uh, a story, they can read Little Cloud or It Looked Like Spilt Milk and then come out here and look up at the clouds or read Eric Carle's Very Hungry Caterpillar and then come out and look at some bugs. So it really helps with comprehension. And we know that vocabulary is a huge predictor of future reading success. And the opportunities for expanding vocabulary with synonyms and, and adjectives and adverbs are huge out here. And the last thing I'd like to point out is the, the number of social emotional skills that happen in an outdoor playground. First of all, they're, they're taking care of nature. And taking care of things is how children learn about empathy. Um, we're laying the foundation for that, as well as the problem solving, the self-regulation, the working together and teamwork. Uh, so, and even the perseverance and the things that are involved in character education are evident as well. So while you look around and see lots of fun happening, there are tons of skills being built at the same time. Thank you so much. As you can see, an educational outdoor learning lab is a great place to learn while enjoying nature and having fun. We're glad you could join us here at the Permanent Early Childhood Educational Center and look forward to seeing you next time on the Creative Classroom.